Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Citizen AY, the platform where we speak truth to power. Um, ladies and gentlemen, um, it's good to um, to have you on board. Um, June 12 is just around the corner. You can see behind me. Can you see behind me? Can you see? That's June 12 behind the, around me. Behind me. I've got the Odudua, uh, Yoruba Nation, and BFA flag together. So our Biafran brothers and um, Odudua and Yoruba nation people will be swimming together and they will be walking together. <laughs> we'll be protesting even together on June 12th. So please be there. Um, we will be bringing in the usual things. Um, we've got flags, t-shirts. I will be taking a picture of what we'll be bringing and we'll be selling t-shirts on the day. So please do come. If you want to buy a t-shirt, it's 20 pounds. If um, a flag on the day is also 20 pounds um caps are 15 pounds a small flag is five pounds um and we'll put it on a little small table so that people can buy it on the day um now the what i'm doing here is to show you uh, so please let's make sure we attend uh, if you want a cap is 15 pounds this chat is 20 pounds and uh, we're happy to 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 sell that to you to to, to you know um to um you know sell that to you um on the day um and or oh, you can buy it online again touch with myself on 447399580606 uh let me just make sure i've got that information on here i want to make sure that information is on the screen so bear with me whilst i quickly put that up there i thought i had uh let me just see um let me just go in here uh -huh, one minute uh, uh, one minute. Okay. Okay. So you will see that number come up. There you go. I know it's a it's a number you will all be familiar with now. I'll, I'll just leave that. Let me see. Make it uh, at the bottom somewhere so that you can see it. So there now properties one second please sorry just want to just make one or two subtle changes to it it does make it you know to make it easier for people to see the, the entire numbers so here we go okay so um so you've got that there one more thing there's always a little thing you have to do somehow okay so that's the number scrolling across the bottom. Now, what you see before you right now is myself um, in the swimming pool. Um, you will see there's a sign at the bottom on the red. Um, it says, I will be swimming for Yoruba Nation on the 22nd of August uh, between 2 and 4 p.m. I'll be swimming 3,000 meters. It's a 3,000 meters swim. Um, that's uh, to put it in context. It's 150 laps in the pool in the 20 meter pool. It is 150 laps that I'll be doing, and that will take me between an hour, um, an hour and 15 to an hour and 30 minutes, uh, depending on how good I, you know, how, how you know fast I'm going. Um, uh, so at this point, I want to tell you all why I do the swim. There's a there's a reason, and I swim backwards. So the thing is, you will see the video when I play it, you will see that I'm swimming backwards. So it's very important that you see that. I'm going to just move this here so you can see it. I don't want it to be in the way of what uh, we're trying to show you. So you will see from what you can see now that, uh, you know, I swim backwards. It's something I had to teach myself following a car crash. I've had a disc removed from my back. I've got metal plates. I can't swim forwards because if I do, every time I lift my head, I'll be jarring my metal plates because it's got screws. I've got screws in my back, um, which they had to screw in because once you take the disc out, they have to put metal a wire mesh and bony tissue together and metal plates um, to, to um, what do you call it? To put it, you know, to make it, you know, to make me able to stand upright um and uh, yeah it's there um but what i found is that to go swimming and do hydrotherapy is the best option for me in terms of relieving the pain because i'm always in pain but anyway that's uh just to give you a bit of background so 
anyway, so when they said to me, start swimming, I happened to run into this surgeon, a retired surgeon. I said, look, yeah, you, know, you have to go swimming. That would help relieve the pain a little bit. It won't solve it, but it'll help. And I suggest even that little help will be great difference. You'll feel it if you, you notice it, um, that it, it helps. So please, I suggest you go and swim. But I don't swim backwards, so even if it's floating, she said. And I thank her till this day. Um, I thank her for, um, you know, for her suggestion because I took that advice on and I started teaching myself how to swim backwards. Um, firstly, I, you know, I could float. I could swim before. Um, uh, no shame. My, uh, um, you know, I, I had to learn swimming later on in life. Um, so, but, uh, but I learned it and, uh, you know, um, and, uh, here we are, you know, we, you know, um, we're now trying to do this. Um, so, um, yeah, it was, yeah. So it was, it was good to have done that, to be able to, to actually, you know, to pick it up and it's never too, you're never too late. What am I saying? You're never too late to learn how to swim. Um, and for disabled people, uh, I'm disabled because of this pain. Cause I, I have to, I can't walk fast. That's why you see me in the mobility um in a mobility scooter which i is disguised cleverly the one i use is cleverly disguised so you won't look at it as a mobility scooter um it's kind of cool i kind of like that um i can't walk fast so when i'm going when i'm on that scooter i can tag along with people that can be part of a conversation i can be part of you know i don't feel that i have people have to be pushing me uh, it gives you a certain level of independence um, same thing with the swimming when i go swimming when i'm swimming i don't feel the pain because of the buoyancy of the water I don't feel any, there's no impact, nothing like that at all. It is really uh, liberating and it frees me. Uh, as soon as I finish the swimming though, hmm, it's back. Uh, so uh, this this swimming, I really want to, um, as a disabled person, I'm speaking of for disabled people. Um, in Contractor Nigeria, um, we've gone to, disabled people have gone through a lot, not only disabled people, everybody, uh, but particularly the system has never taking care of disabled people. So at this point, I want to try and make sure that we form part of that entire nation going forward, that the issues of disabled people and people who have got, uh, you know, uh, med all medical issues are dealt with. Uh, and, and of course, as, as a people, as a, as a as human being, you must be taken care of. So um, because I, I, I did, did the swimming, then I got an idea came to my mind to say, look, okay, um, we need to raise funds. Uh, what's the best thing I can do to to help that? So I said, I thought, okay, um, I'm going to swim 3,000 meters. And that's exactly what happened. I decided to say, okay, um, that's why we, we, we're doing this this promotion right now. Um, I've been in touch with one or two people about that, and it's, it sounds exciting. Um, what we want to do is to make sure that we are able to, uh, you know, uh, encourage people to, uh, you know, do whatever they can, whatever is your talent, do it for Yoruba nation. Um, do anything to keep Yoruba nation, begin to put Yoruba nation in, in there, out there in the public, so that it's in the consciousness of, consciousness of people, so that it's real. It's every day we do that, every day we do things like this kind of um, charity swim that, we're, that I'm planning, uh, we're giving it more life, we're giving life to Yoruba nation. So I'm donating, I'm, I'm uh, you know, giving you know, I'm going to swim 3000 meters. Um, that's what I can do um, to try and make sure we highlight uh, the need for Yoruba Nation and also encourage people to donate to the account that is accompanying this, uh, um, this promotion. Now, um, I'm going to play your video. You will see me in the video. That's me there swimming backwards. Um, and I'll talk through it. Um, but have a list, have a look at it. This I'll be doing this. And uh, by the way, I've been I started. I've been doing training. Um, so I've been doing. I've opted from thirty laps to forty laps. I'm now doing fifty-two laps uh, every three day. Um, every day. I'm um, not every day. Three days a week. I do fifty-three laps three days a week. It helps to ease my pain. Plus, I do the hydrotherapy. And then, of course, when I finish, I do uh, jacuzzi and all that to keep help me keep my you know keep make ease the pain a little bit. So. Um, in that, with that in mind, please watch this video and uh, I will continue on uh, with the broadcast. Here goes.
Bilder. So I'm going to play one more time. I want to try and make sure that you have that information close to hand because uh, the filming is very, very good, but I want to make sure that you can see me fully. So I'm changing the camera, the viewing. So here goes one more time. So there we have it. So that's me. So what I'll be doing on the day is what I've just given you a demonstration. I hope you like the demonstration. Um, it, it's a self-taught swimming technique. This is a technique that I taught myself. Uh, nobody taught me how to do this. I taught myself how to do it because um, I knew I needed to do something. Um, many of you will know I used to be a big guy. Let's see if I have a picture somewhere that I can show you. So I'm trying to inspire you and to make you know that it uh, nothing impossible is nothing. Uh, let's see if I can find a picture which I can actually uh, get to you. Let's do this. I'm going to do this right now. Uh, do it. Okay. So I'm going to. You will see a picture now. Uh, one second. I'm just going to. As I'm doing it now, something just came up, and I thought it's good to actually connect it so you can see the old me and the new me um, and that's um, that's something that I hope is will inspire you to do something uh, we can all do this it is not impossible it just needs um, commitment and belief the same belief that we're gonna put that we're putting towards Yoruba nation uh, you know once you take on things like this you will find that you will find the energy from somewhere to achieve this goal so uh, i'm gonna put that picture somewhere you will see it come up in a minute let me just try and uh, so so let's see if i can get can i get this one here okay so anyway so that's that there uh, let me just pull that away um one second i'll be back in a minute i'm just trying to get something done so you will see it come up but don't worry just get with, bear with me i'm just gonna get you the picture that I've just shown you now. Let's see. So, season, okay. Now, let's go and look at that. Okay, let's have a look at this. It should be there. So, yeah, uh, what we're trying to do is uh, we want all to, to please support this. It's very important that we do so. Um, it's going to happen on the 22nd of August. Um, I'm giving myself enough training time so I can be able to make sure I accomplish it. And that is why you see it. Now, one second, you will see the picture come up in a minute. Okay, no. Uh, one second, I'm just going to uh, move it across so you can see the before and after effect. And it's really important that we, we you know, nothing impossible is nothing literally trust me it's nothing um we set our goal set our mind to what we want to achieve and if we will achieve it it's not even a question of maybe there's no let let no doubt even creep into your mind at all about what your what your goals are what your goals you know so let me ah okay in fact it's here so i'm going to bring this back and you will see that picture hey presto that's me let's see yeah so you can see that is me that's the old me I'm gonna try and see if I can so you can see that's the old me on the left and that's the new me um, it took me a while it took me two years to get it done 
I had to change my eating habits. I had to change everything. I had to stop taking all those medications. I had to, uh, you know, manage this mentally, physically to try and really get control because when I was snoring like crazy, the shaking the whole house, my health was really feeling on top of the chronic pain. So every step I took, step I took was painful. I, it's still painful now, but it is much, I, it's, I'm in control of that situation because of the swimming two or three times a week. And of course now I'm able to now do this swim, which I'm going to try and do again, because I'm on, the longer I'm in the pool, I don't feel any pain uh, because the water becomes a cushion. And I do the exercise, so you know you can even see there's a little bit of a tummy, um, you know, muscles and things there, which is you know, which is yeah, I'm you know, I'm I'm quite I'm comfortable, um, happy. Uh, let me drop this down so you can see that picture better. So there you go. So I wanted you to see. So it's important. The reason I'm doing this is to show you that we can achieve a lot. All we need is really self-belief. Um, and I believed in myself that I could do this. Um, I didn't let anything tell me, oh, no, no, you can't do this. No, no, it, I didn't. No. So, um, and that's what, you know, has been the motiv motivating factor for me. So please watch. Uh, I want you to look out. I want you to help us donate. I've got the account number pinned onto the thing here. You can see that on the screen rolling across the screen. Um, when you watch the broadcast, you will see the number, uh, the account numbers in there. And I will try and pin it on top of the broadcast of this video when it goes live. I'm gonna I'll be releasing it later on. Please don't forget June 12, very important. Uh, let me see if I can get one or two things I want to show you that we'll be bringing on the day. I will be bringing mics. Um, let me see. Can I bring? Have I got one? We'll be bringing mics on the day. Um, I will see. We'll be bringing. We'll be bringing mics on the day, so you get pardon. I'm trying to just get the mic for you that will be present, making an appearance on the day. Let's see. Oh. Anyway, I think I should probably take it down the way so you have it. So you see the mic that's going to work, and I'll, I'm going to put it in so you know that what we're saying, we're not joking at all. We don't, call, we don't joke. We don't do at all. So, so the mic is going to make an appearance now. Just give me a minute. I'll plug it in for you. I should have done this before, but I wasn't thinking um, in this manner. But uh, that's for June 12th. But please, on the day of this, um, I will try and see if I can film this live on the day of the uh, of the swim, which is going to be 22nd of August. Um, 22nd of August uh, 2021 2 to 4 p.m. I'll be doing more broadcast about it uh, but I want to show you what we'll be doing on the second on the second we have the mic uh, we'll got we'll be bringing the flag as well I've got the flag um, flags for sale um, one two one two testing one two testing one two Eje kari li li la onlo Agbe ko ro ko ro ko ko ba gbe li Bi a ko ba mo bi a u lo Si lo ye ka pa da si li Eje wo ni no akpo ti ko yo Eje agbo mi la kano Ile ya o ile ya Ile ya ile ya Ile ya o ile ya Ile ya, ile ya. Bi ya kuba mo bi ya unle. She lo ye ka pada sile. Eja woni nu a poti koyo. Eje kabo mi la kano. Ile ya, ile ya, ile ya o ile ya, ile ya, ile ya. So that's the mic. So I'm just testing it out there for you all to see what we're doing. I'm just uh, I'll switch it off now so you can. I don't want to keep it uh, you know, I'm just keeping this is things that we're doing so you will be bringing that we're bringing the flags um, our Biafran brothers will also be there but please watch out for this uh, uh, swim 22nd of August 2021 from 2 to 4 p.m. I'll be, I'll endeavor to bring pictures and if we can do live live filming we will try and do that also but I'm um, very very important one more time let me show you the broad let me show you the um 
the video um so that people can you know you, it's it's I, I mean it's something i that is good and it's I, and it's me doing it so sorry one minute so you'll see it come up now so here we go and here we go now so let's do that one more time then i'll wrap this up so here we go so that's me swimming uh, i'm gonna move this up there because i don't want it to block your view of me swimming so we can get a full picture so that's me in my pool and i'm i did this earlier on today i did 52 laps in the pool uh, so so that's a thousand meters um you know so i'll be doing three times as much on the day um you know which is going to take me over an hour so you know um you know but uh, we'll get there so it will be done and um you know we'll be pushing more what we need to do is to believe in Yoruba nation and uh swimming for Yoruba nation is what i believe it's a motivating factor for myself and i hope we will urge you to donate to um, the account numbers that you see scrolling across the screen and you will see it on top of the broadcast as well and also ask yourself what can you do for Yoruba nation ask yourself that question what can you do for Yoruba nation what can you do for Yoruba nation so uh, ladies and gentlemen with that said we'll see you on the June 12th um, in Trafalgar Square London um, make all of us are all coming there's no one leader all of us are all responsible for that we want it to happen Bia France will be there Yoruba will be there and we'll make our way to Downing Street, Downing Street as well so ladies and gentlemen thank you for watching oh sorry one more thing let me play this video one more time so so with that said i thank you all for watching this video please when you get this video please do watch and share share with family and friends um and uh you know let them know um it's uh i'm doing this it's a it's a charity swim i'll probably play it during one of my live broadcasts on on various platforms citizen ay or the dua tv radio and other platforms and please do share as well we want as many people as possible to get this information to share it because what we want to do is we need this we need to raise funds um, whatever you can do to raise funds go ahead and do it uh, provide the account number provide details be certain that you know this all of this is for Yoruba nation to make sure that we get the funds together and be able to use it to help our people on ground uh, people are being killed every day don't stand by don't be a bystander right and you know this is something worthwhile that you do that you can do think of what you can do for Yoruba nation think of what you can do for Yoruba nation and uh, if you all did something for Yoruba nation it would be that much better for all of us together um uh, thank you very much i'm gonna try and i will translate it when i'm talking about this in um on, on uh, later on on other platforms and things but for now please do share this podcast you're watching citizen ay the platform where we speak truth to power please uh watch share and please donate thank you very much and goodbye